Hello, this is Pawan Beeman from the CNF integration team. In this demo, we'll be taking a look at installing and uh, configuring Artifactory as a disconnected registry and also as an uh, image store uh, uh, for uh, root FS images and uh, ARCOS images. Mm, as Artifactory can host uh, a Docker registry, ISO images, Git repos, this becomes really useful as we can host uh, multiple repositories on a single host. Um, and uh, Artifactory can be a single point of uh, contact for uh, hosting multiple repositories. Um, so even before uh, we take a look at installing Artifactory, um, first thing is to uh, have a server which has around uh, at least a bare minimum of uh, 400 um, GB of free space. Uh, I have already mirrored the contents, so um, um, you can see uh, the available uh, uh, GBs is really less, but uh, essentially we would at least need uh, 400 GB of uh, free space to mirror the registry contents. Uh, the rule of thumb for uh, selecting uh, the amount of free space is that uh, it is uh, always better to have uh, more free space in order to accommodate for the future growth of the registry. Um, and uh, here I am using a trial version of uh, Artifactory as uh, we do not have any licenses purchased by our company yet for Artifactory and uh, once we register for a trial license uh, we get a, a link uh, which has uh, the contents of the installer along with the steps uh, to install it. Um, so uh, essentially uh, all we have to do is to uh, go to the link download uh, the tarball image and then uh, follow the steps to uh, install the Artifactory um, application. So. Uh, this is the link that I got and then uh, uh, so all it does is so downloads a tarball, extracts it and then uh, runs the install command on it and then uh, we would have to start uh, the artifactory uh, service on it. We, we don't, do not need a X x-ray as of now um, and uh, we do not need to uh, start that. Uh, the only thing that we would need to start is the artifactory service. So um, let me go to a new machine and then uh, download the tarball. We'll uh, wait until the download has completed. Okay, now that the tarball is downloaded, we would need to extract it. Go to the extracted directory and then just run uh, the install script. We will uh, wait for uh, the installation to complete. Okay, so the installation has now completed. So uh, now uh, we would need to uh, start the Artifactory service and uh, check its uh, status. Okay, now let's take a look at um, the status to make sure it's running. 
all right so now uh, artifactory uh, service is uh, running so now our installation has uh, succeeded the next thing that we would have to do is to uh, disable uh, firewall rules to the ports used by uh, artifactory we would need to uh, disable uh, firewall rules for uh, port uh, 8080 8081 and 8082 uh, we would also uh, let's also disable firewall rules for port of uh, 80 and uh, 443 as we would be uh, using it later for uh, either a http or a https uh, docker registry that we will be setting up um, so let's go ahead and uh, do that right let's um, reload it and now uh, we can check if um, the UI uh, for uh, artifactory is accessible or not uh, basically the UI will be running on uh, port um, 8082 and uh, the API uh, runs on port uh, 8081 so uh, let's take a look at it okay so right now uh, this is um, on the host uh, IP address on which uh, we just installed artifactory on and this is um, port 8082 where it's hosting uh, its uh, web service and uh, the username and password are uh, by default created for uh, try uh, when uh, we create a trial license and then we can uh, go ahead and change it on our first uh, try right okay so um, I guess it was still coming up so it was not taking my password so uh, tasks for uh, setting up a new password and then the next step it will ask for uh, the license key um, I have already um, set up the license on uh, another server and I have uh, mirrored all the images there um, in interest of this demo uh, I'll be uh, showing uh, the setup for that particular uh, artifactory server because uh, mirroring uh, everything from scratch might uh, take a few hours okay now um, we can see uh, the UI after applying the uh, trial license um, so uh, essentially it has two tabs uh, one is administration and one is application um, so we can uh, see the uh, artifacts and the packages here and um, in administration we can uh, set uh, IAM security and then take a look at uh, the system blocks and uh, things of that nature which uh, we can see uh, later uh, and uh, after the doing this the next thing that uh, we would have to do is to uh, um, s set up uh, CNAME records uh, for uh, the docker registry and the image store that uh, we'll be uh, creating um, uh, that will be uh, that will be creating uh, later uh, so uh, th this ha these these uh, cname records have to uh, point to the host record that it's po pointed on uh, one thing to note th is that it has to be in the same domain as the server host name so this is important uh, as uh, when uh, creating the registry name it has to uh, match the DNS records that uh, we are uh, creating now uh, so here I am using the same uh, a record as the one that it, uh, uh, is configured for the host uh, on which uh, artifactory is uh, installed uh, so right here please do not do this uh, please uh, create a CNAME record uh, 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 so please create two CNAME records one for the docker registry and one for the uh, image store so once we have done that uh, we would need to install uh, a reverse proxy um, 
So uh, the reason for installing a reverse proxy is that on Alt Factory there are uh, multiple ways to set up a Docker registry, uh, such as uh, direct access, port bindings, and subdomain. Um, the prescribed method um, that Artifactory gives for uh, on-prem environments is to use a reverse proxy and uh, use a subdomain method for uh, creating a Docker registry and hence we would need to uh, install a reverse proxy. I have uh, installed um, Nginx here as uh, the reverse proxy. So uh, here uh, Nginx is already running. And uh, one more thing is that uh, we do not have these two directories, sites enabled and sites available uh, by default when we installed uh, Nginx. Please go ahead and uh, create uh, these two directories. Uh, we would uh, later uh, need these directories in order to uh, uh, set up uh, artifactory config in them. And uh, after we have created uh, these two directories, the next thing that we would have to do is to generate certificate. Uh, so this certificate is for uh, the Docker registry that we will be creating. Uh, one important thing to note here is that uh, we will be creating a wildcard DNS name for the common name um, while creating the certificate. So this is because we'll be using the subdomain method to create the registry. Um, so here, you know, the DNS thing might be a little confusing at this point. But once I show you the HTTP settings for the Docker registry, this might get clearer. Um, so I have uh, created the certificate. And um, if we uh, take a look at the uh, C name, you can see that uh, it's a wildcard DNS entry. Um, so uh, once we have created it, uh, we would need to uh, copy it to uh, Etsy Nginx certs and uh, also uh, we would need to uh, copy it to the provisioner uh, node from which we will be uh, um, installing the hub cluster and then we would need to uh, update CA trust uh, so that uh, this certificate uh, gets updated okay so once this step is done the next thing uh, we would be uh, doing is to uh, finally create uh, the docker registry so uh, let's go to the artifactory GUI again and then uh, if we take a look at uh, repositories so here um, we have uh, I have already created uh, two uh, repositories one for the docker and one for generic but if I were to create a new uh, registry we need to go to add uh, repository and uh, uh, click on uh, local repository so here uh, it has a lot of uh, repository types and for now let's uh, click on uh, the docker uh, repository and uh, here while giving the repository key which is essentially the uh, name of the local docker repository that we'll be creating so this part is uh, the name of the repository key is uh, really important so this has to be the uh, the uh, the name uh, preceding the wildcard DNS entry name. So uh, here when I said that uh, I'm using the host name for uh, creating the Docker repository. Uh, so this has to be uh, this name service node. And uh, that is why we are creating the wildcard DNS entry. So uh, this will be a service node. It says that uh, it all uh, the repository already uh, exists, but essentially we would have to uh, just click on create uh, repository. And once we have done that, we would need to uh, have the reverse proxy settings accordingly in order to access the uh, uh, repository. So we have to go to the administration tab, artifactory, uh, click on uh, HTTP settings, and then uh, here. Uh, we have uh, uh, the three methods that I was mentioning about uh, the repository path, uh, port, and uh, subdomain. So basically, I will be clicking on subdomain. And uh, the server name expression is uh, automatically filled with uh, the wildcard DNS entry that I was talking about. And that is the reason why I was telling you that uh, the 
uh, the domain name uh, of uh, the C name and uh, the host name on which it is uh, hosting on should be uh, matching. And uh, here in the reverse proxy settings, uh, we have a list of uh, uh, reverse proxy providers. And here I've selected uh, Nginx. And uh, the internal host name uh, gets pre-populated uh, as uh, the IP address of uh, the host on which Artifactory is hosted on. And uh, these are the two ports that uh, Artifactory will be using. And we already uh, disabled the, fire uh, the, the firewall rules on. And um, while uh, setting the public server name, we would need to set, set up uh, only the domain name part of this. And uh, while accessing the registry, the way it uh, the Artifactory accesses uh, registry is the repository name that we gave, which is a service node, and the uh, dot the public server name. And again, so uh, this is the same as uh, what we gave here for the domain name. And then we can have uh, two options. One is to use HTTP and uh, HTTPS ports. Uh, so uh, we need to uh, enable both. And then uh, for uh, the SSL key path and the SSL certificate path. So this is where we created our uh, certificates. And uh, this is where uh, and uh, uh, we'll be giving the essentially the path of that particular uh, um, uh, key and uh, cert file here. And uh, we need to click on save. And once we have done that, uh, our Artifactory creates the reverse proxy configuration for this particular uh, settings that we gave. So the Nginx config that uh, we need is already created here. So all we need to do is copy it. And then uh, once we have copied it, we need to go uh, to our uh, host and then um, create this configuration in uh, sites available. So uh, I have already uh, configured this. Uh, this is uh, based on uh, what uh, we copied. And uh, the other thing is uh, we need to enable it. So basically in uh, sites uh, enabled, we need to create a soft link pointing to uh, sites available. And once you have done that, we need to uh, uh, restart uh, Nginx service. And once it is restarted, let's uh, look at the status. All right. So now uh, uh, Nginx is uh, running without any uh, issues. Um, so essentially, once we have uh, done this, uh, we can um, check if uh, the registry is working or not. So we can check um, uh, by logging in into the registry and see if we are able to uh, log in into it or not. So uh, let's do uh, podman login. And this is the registry uh, name. And uh, please note that uh, it's not 5000, it's uh, 443. That is because in the HTTPS uh, settings that we saw, um, we are using uh, uh, port 443. All right, so now we can uh, log in uh, to the, uh, the registry that uh, we created. Uh, so uh, we have successfully set up uh, the Docker uh, registry repo for uh, Artifactory. So now the next thing that we can do is to uh, uh, mirror the images, um, the OLM images and the uh, OCP release images. Uh, there are two issues while doing this uh, with Artifactory. Um, so one issue is that uh, while using the auth file, um, which has uh, the authentication uh, uh, JSON file for um, uh, the uh, registries that we are uh, mirroring from, uh, that is uh, registry.red.io or query.io, uh, Artifactory somewhat doesn't like uh, using the pull secret JSON file for that. And uh, the other thing is uh, even to authenticate to a artifactory, uh, the pull secret doesn't work uh, by mentioning the login credentials there. So uh, while uh, specifying the authentication for artifactory in the command itself, it seems to work. 
and um, I have seen multiple bugs uh, raised on that and uh, they are open um, I will show you what I mean by that um, so uh, basically while uh, mirroring the images for instance uh, while using a podman push we would need to uh, specify the credentials for uh, artifactory here in the as a part of the command itself uh, rather than uh, using a pull secret json file in order to do that and uh, the uh, and for uh, the pull secret for uh, accessing uh, uh, quay.io or uh, red hat or uh, registry.io it is better to uh, put it as a part of the docker config.json file uh, that uh, and uh, because uh, it doesn't seem to take uh, the pull secret file so uh, by preloading it here and then uh, using the mirror it seemed to work and one more thing um, that uh, i faced as an issue with artifactory is that while doing the mirroring after some time uh, artifactory uh, the, like, uh, uh, shows an error message as 403 forbidden and uh, doesn't allow me to log into artifactory to push the images uh, one thing f f that we can uh, work around for that uh, for uh, commands such as uh, OCADM is to specify max per registry as one so basically this is the number of concurrent corrections um, that uh, OCADM will be uh, using in order to connect to the local registry and the same thing can be done for uh, the same uh, these two things can be done uh, for uh, essentially uh, Scopio or uh, even uh, OC image mirror so um, I'll show you an example here so I have done the same thing uh, on uh, OC image mirror meaning uh, uh, I gave a maximum per uh, registry as one and then uh, while using uh, Scopio there is a way to give the destination credentials uh, here so essentially which is uh, admin password uh, which is a default one uh, while we install the uh, trial uh, version of uh, the artifactory application so after adding this um, um, I had uh, no issues mirroring the images for uh, uh, artifactory uh, but uh, even with this uh, there was an issue um, with uh, pulling the images w once I installed uh, the hub cluster and uh, that was the same thing uh, uh, in which uh, there were multiple connections uh, to the artifactory uh, repo uh, and then uh, that prevented uh, the download of images uh, for the hub and uh, the SNO node uh, while taking a look at that uh, I realize that uh, uh, artifactory is a little buggy um, in which uh, uh, while pull, uh, having multiple concurrent connections or uh, pulling multiple images there is an issue uh, with the artifactory cache and then uh, this issue causes a uh, cascading failure uh, in which uh, it uh, considers the authentication request as uh, a false authentication request um, meaning that uh, even with uh, the current authentication credentials the artifactory considers as uh, wrong authentication credentials and hence the login is denied um, and uh, this is a very um, serious issue uh, because um, essentially the hub or the worker cluster um, uh, cannot uh, pull images from this uh, registry uh, there are a couple of mitigations for it one way uh, to mitigate it is to uh, just restart uh, artifactory and it will flush the cache and then uh, you know once the cache is flushed um, it works fine uh, so we would need to uh, trigger the mirror again and then uh, do it uh, each time there is an issue with the cache uh, the next step is to uh, uh, have uh, these uh, mitigations already the one for uh, the credentials that uh, we are specifying both for podman and scopio and also for uh, uh, 
uh, catalog mirror or OC image mirror where we are specifying uh, the max per registry as one. And along with that, uh, we would also need to uh, specify uh, one configuration, uh, so which is uh, to essentially uh, not to block the login on uh, in terms of uh, failures of authentication. So uh, this is the configuration, uh, which is uh, max login block delay as zero, and we would need to uh, set it on uh, artifact system properties. And uh, there are two places in which the artifact system properties are present. Uh, one is on the var opt jfrog directory, and the other one is on the opt jfrog directory. So the reason why we are doing it is uh, is very simple. So because uh, we are uh, the the uh, because we are uh, getting uh, disabled temporarily to log in by artifactory and the caching issue is causing this uh, cascading issue um, so we can as well uh, you know disable temporary login suspension and uh, that should not uh, block us uh, essentially um, and uh, this um, particular uh, mitigation uh, work for me and um, I have been able to uh, pull the images without any issues after ha having all these mitigations and uh, these are uh, bugs that are open uh, in artifactory as of now and it might be uh, fixed by uh, artifactory in the future but as of now we will be uh, seeing this particular issue and uh, once we have done that um, I have already uh, mirrored the content of uh, the docker registry into artifactory and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So if uh, we take a look at the repositories, so if we take a look at the artifacts, this is um, the Docker uh, repo. So here um, I have mirrored uh, uh, OLM uh, and then uh, ACM and then the installer uh, images. So this is the uh, um, repository. Uh, so uh, uh, right now, so we are all um, good to go with uh, the Docker registry setup. Um, the reason I am showing uh, the already mirrored uh, uh, repo is because this will take uh, a few hours to uh, re-mirror all of this. And uh, in interest of this demo, um, this uh, makes it uh, a shorter demo. Uh, in order to uh, pre-mirror all of this uh, onto artifactory. So now that uh, we have uh, uh, created uh, the docker registry successfully and uh, uh, we have mirrored the images, the next thing to do is to create a registry for uh, storing the rootfs images for the small ISO and also the orcos images for uh, the uh, bootstrap OS image and cluster OS image during the, uh, the that is needed for the hub cluster installation. So in order to do that, we'll go to repositories again. And then uh, we need to add repository and then uh, select local repo. And in this, we would need to select uh, the repository as generic type. And here again, we would need uh, the repository key uh, to match with the CNAME record that we have created and uh, in my case it is service node 2 as i have already uh, created it it doesn't take uh, the creation of the new one so essentially uh, once it is created it has to show uh, the repo key and uh, these uh, fields are uh, automatically populated all we need to do is to uh, just create the repository key and uh, once we have uh, created the repository key, uh, I mean, once we have created uh, this uh, repo, uh, it doesn't allow uh, uh, for uh, download of uh, the ISO images or uh, the image uh, without uh, specifying uh, the username uh, password, um, which uh, is problematic while um, installation because uh, uh, we would need a, a repo which uh, serves images 
uh, without the need for uh, username and password. So in order to do that, we would need to go to the security tab and inside settings, we would need to select uh, allow anonymous access. And uh, this allows uh, anonymous downloads um, for uh, the uh, ISO and uh, uh, dot image root of its uh, files uh, that uh, gets uh, that uh, we would need to uh, download during the installation process. Um, so once we have done that, the next thing that we would need to do is to uh, um, download the uh, root of its image and then uh, push it into the registry. So uh, it's um, something like uh, this after uh, we have pushed it. So in order to uh, push it, all we need to do is to uh, uh, have a curl post command and then uh, give the particular repository name and uh, it has to uh, push the image. So I would like to uh, show an example for this. So uh, in order to say uh, push um, this particular uh, image, we would need to just uh, post it. We just need to, uh, sorry, uh, uh, use the put command uh, with the appropriate uh, uh, with the appropriate uh, generic repo name and then uh, the image name that uh, we would uh, need that to be uh, uploaded as. Alright, so uh, we would need to do the same thing uh, for uh, all of the images that uh, we would need to uh, um, upload to the generic repository. And once uh, we have done that, we would uh, essentially be seeing uh, the images like uh, as shown uh, here. Uh, essentially, I have uh, uh, put in the root of his image, the Arcos live image, and uh, the bootstrap and uh, cluster image files for the hub cluster. So uh, now that we have uh, done uh, all of uh, these uh, steps, um, we have successfully uh, set up the Artifactory uh, repository for uh, both uh, Docker registry and then uh, the uh, generic uh, repository for uh, the root of a store. So the now all we have to do uh, is just to uh, install uh, the hub cluster and the SNO. Um, so the procedure for uh, doing that is uh, similar to the procedure for uh, uh, installing the hub cluster and the single node open shift for uh, uh, any uh, generic uh, disconnected registry. So uh, if we take a look at uh, the install config. So we are uh, providing the bootstrap OS image and the cluster OS image uh, from Artifactory. Uh, these are the ones that uh, I just showed you uh, as uh, the uploaded files there. And then uh, for uh, image content sources, we need to uh, provide uh, the path on uh, Artifactory. And uh, keep in mind again, this is uh, 443 and not uh, uh, 5000. Uh, and the same thing pull secret file and the additional touch bundle. So uh, I have uh, already installed uh, the hub cluster and uh, this has to uh, and this worked fine without any issues. So uh, the hub cluster got uh, installed uh, from the registry. Um, 
again i am uh, not installing the hub cluster just in interest of time uh, in order to in order not to make this a really long demo and um, once the hub cluster is installed again uh, configuring uh, configuring uh, uh, and installing uh, assisted uh, installer is also uh, in a similar way in which um, you would just need to uh, give uh, the appropriate uh, mirror uh, registry for the cluster image set and also for the agent service while uh, giving the URL and the root of uh, uh, URL we would need to give uh, for the generic uh, repository that we created as a part of uh, in the generic uh, repository image upload and um, that would be it so once uh, we have uh, created the assisted service and then uh, if we go ahead and deploy the SNO it should get uh, deployed uh, successfully and uh, let's take a look at uh, the pre-installed uh, SNO that I have installed uh, already. Yep. So uh, uh, that would be all uh, for this demo. I hope um, uh, this is uh, this has been uh, really useful uh, to you. And uh, thank you.